Hey, it's Timmy from Guy Homes. I'm here with our director of design, Vanessa, and we're just chatting about how do you build, how do you design the perfect bedroom? And she came up with some incredible tips that I thought we'd like to share with you. Um, and so, yeah, Vanessa, what were those tips again? I know the first one you were talking about was location, location, location. Yes, that's very true, Tim. The location of the bedrooms has the biggest impact on the privacy and um, even just the feel of that room. So typically, you don't put bedrooms right off the street. When you first come in, it's a living room and then the kitchen, and then you walk through a hallway into a bedroom. You want that progression. You don't want it to be, oh, this is a bedroom. You know, it's just not very relaxing and, and cozy. Yeah, because you don't get that privacy, especially yes. if you first walk in and you know there's a bedroom right there straight away. Um, for me, I want privacy. I want to reduce the noise from the main street. Like, how do I do that? Yeah, so that's you do that by typically putting the bedrooms away from the street, either the back or the sides of the home. Yeah, right. And from for me is when I wake up or when I go to sleep, I want to be able to have a view that I can look at, mm -hmm. you know, especially because for me, my dream is to have a um, beachfront uh, mansion and have a view of the ocean when I wake up. Like, mm -hmm. what, what do you suggest? Yeah, that's a really important point. So after you locate where you're putting the bedrooms, then you need to figure out where the best views are. Do you have beachfront view? Do you have the city view? And so once you find that view, you want to capture it by putting a large window, a large picture window that you can enjoy every day. And if you put a window, I suggest putting a second window right next to it, a smaller one, so you can pop it open and just let the breeze in. Ah, uh, the sea breeze yes. come in. Yeah. The sea breeze or ocean breeze. It's, yeah. City breeze, city yes. pollution. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. All right, fair enough. Now for me, I know in the place I'm living at right now, I have to walk out of the bedroom to go to the bathroom and it's just quite inefficient. So Yeah, anyway. you're bringing up a really important point. That's an end suite. Um, that used to be a luxury about you know, 10, 20 years ago, but we see that more and more common in your homes. So that is a master bedroom with its own closet and its own bathroom. That gives you definitely more privacy so that you enjoy the space more. And typically you put the end suite on like a separate wing of the house. Um, and it, you know, it's really nice if you have a walk-in closet too. You either have walk-in closet on one side and bathroom work on the other side, or you walk through the closet into your own private bathroom. Yeah, I mean, I love that concept of having a walk-in closet because it gives me so much more storage as well. I mean, for me and for my wife, we like ample amounts of storage because we have so much stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, can you speak to that? Yeah, so I would say for a master bedroom, you want at least 10 feet of storage. That's five linear feet for, per person. And that just gives you enough space to put away that clutter so that you don't have to see that clutter every day. Yeah, correct. And you can also you know, design beds to have you know, storage underneath yes. the bed as well. Smart as storage, yes. Smart storage, yeah, right. And how about lighting as well? I know, you know sometimes people come home and there's this like dull white light or this really bright white light. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. what, what would you suggest? Yeah, so lighting is really crucial in a bedroom because it creates a mood. Um, a lot of newer homes now have LED down lights, which, looks, which look really clean and modern. Um, but I also recommend putting feature lighting that is an accent lighting that you can adjust. You can even change it, you know, tone it down a bit so that you don't get the white fluorescent light that's kind of shocking. Yeah, yeah. so kind of mood lighting is what yes. you're kind of going for. Cool, that's awesome. And finally, is, I know during the winter months, I wake up and I put my feet on the floor and it's freezing. That's not a pleasant feeling. It's not, so like, yes. what can I do? Yeah, so actually carpet is probably the most common material, flooring material for bedrooms. Um, we now see in fancier homes, um, I would say like stone flooring and wood flooring. Um, with that kind of like harder finish, you want to put a rug on top that will also just create that mood in your home. You can match it with other accents. It's just really striking the balance between style and comfort, which you really both want, like for, for a bedroom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, look, I think those are amazing tips. Thanks for sharing those with me. Um, definitely going to do that when I'm designing my new bedroom. And so, look, if you've got any other questions about bedroom design, living room design, any kind of design, kitchen design, um, look, reach out to us at GaiaHomes.co. We'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.